Maestro. Maestro. Dirty. Yes! Wow. This is cool. Let it go. How about you hold it? <sighs> yo, 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 yo. And welcome to my dirty shorts. Alright, here we go. First weekend of prep. Ball went awesome. Went back, reviewed the games, reviewed a few extra things, and I'm just gonna say right now. First of all, this is a I owe you, I promised you, and I got you. All right. St. Lamar, the ninth. His work with the OGs stood out for a bunch of different reasons. And it's something that I couldn't get into or didn't get into in the initial posting that I did about the OGs. And that was he, in his way, embodied all of what prep ball is about. And that's what I mean when I say that. The entirety of the games or the game that we called, had a chance to call, he was searching for spacing. Spacing is not a natural thing. And as the game went on, Lamar spacing got better. Not only did it get better, he got stronger and got very impactful toward the end of the game almost bringing the OGs back into the game. Now, what does this show up for the scout? And there were scouts there looking at them. You heard them if you watched the broadcast of the games. Scout from Louisville, even a pro scout was there, was super friendly. Their view is they can see the coachables. Can I teach you X? Can I teach you Y? Can I teach and coach you Z? But do you have the other dimensional aspects of the game that come intuitively? And St. Lamar does. He actually, what you saw with him on a couple of exchanges when there was a busted play in the middle, who was right there to get the ball, re-put it back up. He actually started a transition play with uh, disrupting a pass inside the post, as well as incredible well done back post and back kick jobs that he was able to score and get everything on. What I would like to see him grow with, and this is going to be the example, his mid-range game, nice. Don't be afraid to make that your primary weapon. Why? If they go to stop you in the mid-range game, you can either, boom, quick cut back, back step, boom, cut around them, right to the rim, choose violence, get you two, or they think you're coming in for the three. They collapse. You kick out. You run out. Now, you either kicked it to a man, there's an assist, or even better, you've made yourself the secondary outlet, which gives them, what, something else to think about whenever they see you move without the ball. And that is what you want to do with your game, your athleticism. You can do that all the way around the table. Definitely make it count. Very good game. Well done, you. Can't wait to see more. As we get in more into the prep season this week with more tournaments, y'all know what's up. Holla at your boy. Let me know what you think. What else did you like about this weekend's tournament? And you know the deal. Never let Jason Bourne borrow your car. Oh, wait. Do you want me to read? Thank you again for checking out the Maestro Sturdy Choice. Drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. The Maestro. Dirty. Ah!